Ladies and gents, one more CGV action, and this is the most dangerous stuff in the universe. Strange stars explained by the channel Kuzgazat in nutshell. Yeah, the strange stars made from strange lights. So basically, there are six quarks: up, down, top, bottom. I think charm and strange. So strange is basically zombie. type of matter of the universe it's so effed up you know i don't know uh, long ago in some kind of a, a net geo show or something when i was a kid i uh, you know saw an episode about this and it just spoke to me like this uh, you know strange matter basically if it touches any regular matter it turns into strange matter and that is just scary as f like if a strange matter touches us even it just some one point it will start to transform entire our body into strange matter then the planet then everything else so basically we would die by basically getting eaten with you know getting transformed into strange matter that is so spooky black holes are scary well here you go another zombie type thing of the universe strange matter this is so spooky i love this because gazad is going to explain this in detail it's going to be fun you know i reacted to quite a few cuz gazad video already if you haven't seen them you know check out the link in the description there there somewhere uh, check out the cast folder the playlist and remember this is cuz gazad video it might get blocked so i have to put check out box there but i guess we'll see let's watch it neutron stars are the densest things that are not black holes in their cores we might find the most dangerous substance in existence strange matter a bizarre thing so extreme that it bends the what strange matter gets created in in the center of neutron star oh i guess because of the pressure you know atoms and everything gets br broken apart and there is quark bath in that it get change i guess i don't know yeah neutron star is basically the densest thing that can be because black hole is even more denser but that's something that we don't even understand you know laws of physics doesn't even explain that how can black hole even exist because the densest thing there could be is a neutron star rules of the universe and could infect and destroy everything it comes into contact with or it could teach us about how the universe began maybe both To understand how extreme strange matter really is, we first need to get a few basics. What is a neutron star and how does strange matter break the rules of the universe? To get all of this into one video, we'll grossly oversimplify a few things, but we'll provide you with further reading if you want more details. A neutron star is what remains after a very massive star explodes in a supernova. When this happens, the star's core collapses under its own gravity with such a strong inward force that it squeezes nuclei and particles together violently. Electrons are pushed into protons so they merge and turn into neutrons. All the nothing inside of atoms is suddenly completely filled with particles that really don't want to be close to each other but have no choice. They desperately push back against gravity against the collapse. If gravity wins, they will become a black hole. If they win, they become a neutron star. This makes neutron stars like giant atomic nuclei the size of a city but holding the mass of our sun. And here things get weird. The environment in the core of neutron stars is so extreme that the rules Yeah, I mean the neutron stars are extremely dense. Basically, you know, our atoms are basically empty. nucleus and electron there's a massive gap between that the guy who realized that was scared even to get out of the bed because he thought he's going to fall through the floor so basically most things are empty but when you cram everything together makes the densest thing that's the neutron star so just a you know a neutron star size of a, a small city is big you know has mass enough to equal and to of our, our sun So it make kind of makes sense that you know strange matter gets created at the core of it you know the, the pressure might you know make it into quark bath rules of nuclear physics change and this could lead to a strange and extremely dangerous substance yeah but let's not get ahead of ourselves we first need to know the rules before we learn how they can be broken Protons and neutrons, the particles making up the nuclei of atoms, are made up of smaller particles called quarks. Quarks really don't want to be alone. 
they are what we call confined. You can try to separate them, but the harder you pull, the harder they try to pull themselves back together. If you use a lot of energy, they just use this energy to create new quarks. Quarks only exist together as the building blocks of other particles and have never been observed by themselves. They come in many types, but only two appear to make stable matter. The up and down quarks found in protons and neutrons. All other quarks seem to decay away quickly. But this may be different inside neutron stars. The forces operating in their cores are so extreme that they are actually similar to the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Neutron star cores are like fossils, which can let us peer back in time to the beginning of everything. So learning how quarks behave inside a neutron star is a way of understanding the very nature of the universe itself. One hypothesis is that inside a neutron star core, protons and neutrons deconfine. All the particles crammed shoulder to shoulder dissolve and melt into a sort of bath of quarks. Yeah, that um, makes sense because, you know, that's the first thing I thought of when I you know, heard about neutron star score. So basically the pressure, would, it's already a neutron star, it's the densest matter that can be. So even more pressure at the core of it, obviously it's going to become, you know, bath of quarks in that it could create strange matter. Strange matter is so scary because, you know, it's... It, it's basically whenever it spreads around, it's like a virus, you know, it starts to change everything into strange matter, wherever it touches. So let's just say if uh, somehow, you know, there was a strange matter star get exploded with a supernova and it splits out, you know, spits out all the strange matter it will start to turn everything into strange matter. So there could be a, you know, a swarm of strange matter coming towards our solar system. We don't even know about it. And eventually we will become, you know, strange matter. There is no evidence of any of this kind of thing that has happened anywhere else. So chances are low, but it could happen. Countable numbers of particles become one giant thing made purely from quarks. Quark matter. A star made from this is called a quark star, though from the outside, it may not look any different than a regular neutron star. Now we can finally talk about the most dangerous substance. If the pressure inside a quark star is great enough, it may get stranger, literally. In the cores of neutron stars, some of the quarks may be converted into strange quarks. Strange quarks have bizarre nuclear properties and they are heavier and for the lack of a better yeah. word, stronger. If they turn up, they could create strange matter. Strange matter might be the ideal state of matter. Perfectly dense, perfectly stable, indestructible. Yeah. More stable than any other matter in the universe. So stable that it can exist outside neutron stars. If this is the case, we have a problem. It might be infectious. Every piece of matter it touches might be so impressed by its stability that it would immediately turn it into strange matter too. There you go. Protons and neutrons would dissolve and become part of the quark bath which frees energy and creates more strange matter. The only way to get rid of it would be to throw it into a black hole. But then again, who cares? All of it is inside neutron stars. Except when neutron stars collide with yeah, other neutron stars or black holes, they spew out tremendous amounts of their insides, some of which could include little droplets of strange matter yeah. called strangelets. Strangelets are as dense as the core. Two neutrons start colliding. That would you know, explore lots of matter outside and lots of them could be strangelets. And then those strangelets could touch a star and the star becomes a strange star. And if the star explodes in a supernova, it spews out baths of strange matter. That's just, that's just like a zombie movie in the universe, I guess. <laughs> or of a neutron star. They could be really small, maybe even subatomic, but even the largest strangelets wouldn't be any bigger than a rocket. These strangelets would drift through the galaxy for millions or billions of years until they meet a star or planet by chance. If one were to strike Earth, it would immediately start converting it into strange matter. The more it converts, the more it would grow. Ultimately, all of the atoms making up Earth would be converted. Earth would become a hot clump of strange matter the size of an asteroid. If a strange lit strikes the sun, it would collapse into a strange star, eating through it like fire through a dry forest. This would not change the sun's mass much, but it would become way less bright, so Earth would freeze to death. 
and like a tiny virus, we'd have no way to see a strangelet coming. Worse still, some theories suggest strangelets are more than common, outnumbering all stars in the galaxy. These strangelets could have formed very early after the Big Bang, uh, when it was as hot and dense as a neutron star. I refuse to believe that. Only for the... <laughs> only reason for that is I don't want to believe that. <laughs> because future has already lots of roadblocks in between. We talk about great filter, there's another great filter right there. Strange matter coming to screw us. Core everywhere. They might be clumping around the gravity of galaxies as the universe expanded and evolved. Strangelets could even be so numerous and massive that they might actually be the dark matter we suspect holds galaxies together. But then again, maybe not. This is speculation, and the Earth and Sun and planets haven't been. Yeah, but dark matter doesn't even interact with itself. If it was strange matter, it would interact with itself, so I don't think it's that. ...consumed in a wildfire of strangelets in the past few billion years, so the odds seem good that it won't happen anytime soon. Understanding these strange objects today may be the key to understanding the birth of our universe and why it grew to look the way it does now. When scientists first started playing with magnets and wires and thinking about electrons, they had no idea how technology would evolve in the next hundred years. The scientists thinking about the cause of neutron stars and strange matter today may be setting up humans for a future beyond our wildest imaginations. Or maybe not. Time will tell. Oh god, what if some somebody in the po massive particle accelerator <clears throat> creates by accident a strange matter and entire planet is screwed after that because after you know as soon as strange matter gets created it will start to touch other matters and create into strange matter it will be like you know runaway effect so while you're waiting to see if the universe gets destroyed you might still want to find out more about it we've got you our friends from brilliant can be your ah. insight into a whole world. yeah people go to brilliant.org for slash nutshell this is a great channel support it yeah this is strange strange star strange light strange matter it's just ridiculous obviously it's been you know we are all here and you know our solar system is here even after four billion years so chances of that happening is slim but chances are still there who knows after you know uh, 10 years or even 100 years after a bath of strange matter just can come and you know destroy our entire solar system who the hell knows or destroy our sun and in the end destroy us but yeah strange matter and uh, you know black hole are the two scariest things black hole is kind of a less scary because it's more like a mine you have to come close to it for it to be dangerous black hole is not going to come to you or strange matter if it if it is you're close to it it will come to you and it will screw you over. So basically strange matters are zombies of the universe. I love this. Alright people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the cast for the playlist. Check out the end cards. And yeah, I'll see you next time.